telling me I can't eat pork. What kind of religion is that? I'm sorry. Fuck that. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat with whatever the fuck. God can be right there in my ear. Son, do not digest the animal that you heard. <laughs> Flip, Flip the bird on his head. I'm hungry as a bitch. He telling me, son, do not digest the animal. Man, get the on, God. Get your ass on right now. I love you now. Shoot, shoot. And here is the footage from the scene. Roll it. He did get shot in the leg. Yes, and the one of the other young gentlemen uh, was shot. There's undercover right there. That's one right there. Hanging low. That's undercover. The gang unit is out here too. They have it blocked off down at the end. Birthday and with tears in my eyes, I done lost too many people to ever be happy. Bro. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaQuadash and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also a sincere shalom to the elect, peace to the elect. I want to go in this video that's been going around. I didn't want to do a video on it, but I, I, I remember this guy, Little Bootsy, Little Bootsy, badass, right? Little Bootsy, bad leg now, right? Because he's gotten shot in the leg. But I remember he was throwing up the middle finger at, uh, at you know, he claims to be throwing up the middle finger at God, right? I, I don't, you can't do that. What I mean by that is no matter what you try to curse the Lord or what you try to do, you're really cursing yourself because he's the creator of it. He's the one causing you to do it, right? That's like you um, running your car into the pole and then you curse the pole out. <laughs> the most high is the one cause you to run into the pole. Or oh, well, that person that caused you to run into the pole. You ran into the pole. Right? So, anyway, they also go into, you know, I've noticed with our videos, you know, you're supposed to have, be exempt from being disrespected in your religion and your beliefs of hate speech. And this man is clearly promoting nothing but hate speech, hate speech to the most high. Right? So, I don't think YouTube had a problem with that. But I just wanted to touch on this story. Um, uh, what's his name? Lil Boosie and Mo. Mo3 who got killed as well. And this is supposedly all gang affiliation. And my question is, where's the Black Lives Matter when you need them, right? Again, this is more proof that the Black, Black Lives Matter is a garbage movement set up by George Soros. It's a garbage movement. These gang members get to ride around shooting up anything in their path. This is why Proverbs the fourth chapter says, Walk not in the way of the wicked. Go not near the wicked. In the truth we have no business involving ourselves in these rap concerts and these uh gang affiliated being around anyone who's gang affiliated or these groups even if the man might you know you might know somebody cool but you think it's cool but they are affiliated with that stuff man this is not a good look and this also proves that we are considered the hate group what about this people blowing rappers away these rappers are shooting up they're getting shot they're promoting an image that it's all right to be a gangbanger because that's what they're rapping about. They're rapping about shooting and killing each other and gangbanging and murdering and running over people and hacking people up. But that's not hate speech. And this hate speech and this, this stuff that you see is being promoted as hate. They're not only promoting hate speech towards one another, they're promoting, they're actually doing the hatred towards one another. They're actually inflicting harm and murdering one another. But the community guidelines of social media, they don't have a problem with this, right? As long as you shoot and kill each other and murk 
one another, right? This is what they promote. Killing and violence. And us as Israelites, we're totally against it. But we're the hate group. Anyway, let's go on to this article. Booty Badass may be in the worse shape than we thought. May be in worse shape than we thought. The Baton Rouge rapper was shot in the leg over this over the weekend in Dallas while attending a memorial event for his artist Mo Three. All right, who had been gunned down a few days earlier, who died. Generally speaking, a leg isn't a bad place to take one. But that's not true either. Right? I know I knew a few people who have died from uh leg shots. You know, they say shooting a leg, shooting a leg. You hit that femur artery, you're done. You're going to bleed internally. You got very little time to tie it up. And infection sets in. And this man is supposed to be diabetic. And they're, you know, whenever you have an illness, that's what they put it on. But someone healthy could get shot in the leg and have their legs amputated. I knew somebody that that happened to as well. And it wasn't diabetic. So it's all the Lord show, right? It's all the Lord show. And I just kind of find it crazy that he talked about the pork and the pig. And had he not been eating the pork and the pig, if he had diabetes, it may not have been as bad. And he might have been able to save his leg. So I find it ironic that swine, is, I believe, is what uh, uh, particularly took his leg. Or possibly his leg may be amputated. I don't know. Anyway, it's definitely a scare for him, right? Generally speaking, uh, it's it, a leg isn't a bad place to take one. However, Booty suffers from diabetes, which makes the legs vulnerable to amputations, right? So, and people with diabetes, especially that's really out of control, they lose their legs without gunshots, right? So he, this man is also supposed to be had kidney cancer, maybe uh, tumors on his kidneys. He has he had a lot of sicknesses, and he's going to sit there and have the nerve to say not to eat pork because he don't know. He don't know why the Bible say don't eat pork. The scriptures say don't eat pork because it's an unclean animal. His digestive tract is short term. It doesn't filter out poisons. It filters out enough poisons for the earth, but it doesn't filter enough poison for you to eat. It says, there are now reports that his latest injury may have hastened the outcome as his leg isn't properly healing. Um, Bootsy may now have to get his uh, leg amputated as the gunshot wound from the weekend is not healing. It says, TMZ is reporting Bootsy's foot, is, foot isn't in jeopardy. However, he did undergo multiple surgeries and will be off his feet for six weeks. So, I'm not getting it. His leg may be amputated, but his foot is in good shape. How does that make anything better? <laughs> and let's not talk about the other foot. If your leg gets chopped off, your foot is no good. Unless they're going to take your foot and your ankle and staple it up onto the the kneecap. And I don't know. That might look kind of funny. Well, anyway, let's get a scripture. I just wanted to touch on that. Where's you Black Lives Matters at, man? Where's the Black Lives Matter people? Proverbs 1 and 26. But ye have set a knot, right, all my counsel, and were not, not of my reproof. So that was, somebody was reproving him about that swine, right? I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So Bootsy Bad Leg, right? Even if that leg is healed and they get able to get it to come back to some degree, he's going to have problems with that leg the rest of his life. Whenever a part of your body takes that kind of infection, it's that kind of damaged, right? You're going to have some issues with that part of your body. Unless the Lord says otherwise. It says, when your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. I'm pretty sure he sat in the hospital and said, oh, my God. I'm pretty sure. Anybody had the uh, recordings? They all pray and call on God then. I bet you all those people that was laughing around, sitting around at the round table, eating that pork with them. I bet you they all throwing up prayers. 
I see all the people on the other social media saying, we pray for a homie. We pray that, that God gives him a speedy recovery. You people don't pray to God, man. Nor do you people care about God. That's how Yahweh had to quote uh, uh, the book of Isaiah. This people draw off nigh me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Right? That's these, you know, that's you jakes. Always claim you love God. You don't care about God, nor do you love the Most High, man. You're fake. You people are not right. Right? As, as, uh, as I just quoted Isaiah 29th chapter. You draw off nigh with your lips, but your spirit, your heart is far from the Lord, man. You don't care. You never did care. See, the, the thing, the reason why people hate us as Israelites, see, when there's something you want to do, you take a, a child and you tell them to go into the uh, the birthday factory, the birthday uh, uh, factory where there's nothing but cakes, the bakery, and tell them they can eat that breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They can eat all the junk and drink all the junk juice they want, right? They're going to call it, consider you their best parent or their best loved one. The minute someone steps in and try to correct them and say, no, you can't eat that garbage every day. You can't eat pork. You shouldn't do that. That's when they get angry. That's why our people get angry because they want to commit sin. Right? That's why the prophets, prophets prophesy falsely. It's John uh, Salaki, uh, Jeremiah, I believe five, the fifth chapter, 26, 27, 28 verse, somewhere around there. Maybe the 30th verse. You know, the prophets prophesy falsely. And, he, and these people love to have it so. They love it. Right? If, if According to the Bible, if it said, this is why Christians love the Bible the way they do. They don't love the Lord. They just love the teachers who teach it. That's why Christians, they always say, oh, God said forget about the laws. You can eat crabs and shrimp and pork. It don't matter anymore. Right? And as long as you can do that, you love God. But when the minute we step in and say, no, you can't do it. Remember this, anything in life that we liked and somebody told us we couldn't do it, we had attitudes about it. And that's what you see here. Uh, it says, verse 31, Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. <laughs> Right? That's why this man has got his legs damn near shot off. And that's uh, the most high. Didn't show Bootsy any mercy, really, to be honest. It would have been better for him to just be taken out. But there's more plans. There's more things in, st in, st in store for Bootsy. Right? If he doesn't repent, right, and wake the hell up, which we see these guys like this don't says, but whosoever hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Right? I pretty much, that pretty much gets to the point. That's all I have on that. Little Bootsy bad leg. He's got some, some things to come. Right? The Most High, I believe, is not finished with him. Right? It's all up to the Heavenly Father. That's all I have on that, Shalom.